Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are talking love and marriage Huntsville because, again, there is all kinds of drama that is taking place. So Carlos King has entered the chat in regards to the rumors of Melody Cherie leaving love and marriage Huntsville in regards to the Sheree and Martel Holt dating rumors and this and that. And we'll just speak on, you know, what it is. So basically, Carlos King says Melody Sheree is love and marriage Huntsville and she is not going into where you guys so even if there is a spinoff in the works whatever the case may be home is still going to be love and marriage Huntsville and I always felt as though these rumors I felt were you know very convenient because it seems as though they always come about when they're trying to push one of the other couples as a main character, as a main storyline, to try to like phase out Melody Sheree and what perfect time for these rumors to even escalate on the season where you barely see Melody Sheree. You see her maybe for a scene at the beginning of the episode or a scene at the end of the episode showing that the show is not getting a million viewers without her. So I knew that, you know, no matter what happens, even if Melody Sheree does appear on a spinoff of some sort of love and marriage, that she is still going to anchor the show no matter what. This is not going to be another Mariah Huck situation where the cast is going to try to band together and refuse to film with her or try to kick her off of her own show that she brought them the opportunities for you guys. So I do respect Carlos King, at least in regards for this that for knowing where the bread is buttered for knowing who is getting those ratings in for own also uh carlos king i believe this was on his podcast with one of his producers they were talking about the martel and charade rumors and as you guys know there's been lots of sightings of them Different people, you know, have been saying things. Martel was trying to deny it to Tasha Kay. I think Funky Dineva was trying to say some source told him that Martel said it wasn't true. But Carlos King comes in and basically confirms that they're together. Basically confirms, like I told you guys a while ago, that this was going to be a storyline on the upcoming season of Love and Marriage Huntsville, as well as possibly on Love on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta as well, depending on when season 15 starts filming and whether or not Sheree comes back to the show. Um, so I knew this was going to happen. I knew that they were dating. Carlos King was telling a story about how, you know, whenever he has to call Martel, Martel knows it's because he did or said something bad that has him in trouble. And, um, you know, Carlos really was calling him because um, Martel was in trouble again. And he basically, um, you know, said, hey, I have somebody here that wants to talk to you. And then in comes Sheree's voice. But the way that they tried to play it, Martel tried to seem, make it seem like he was conferencing or end or something. But it sounds like from what Carlos King was describing is basically they were at the same location but trying to pretend otherwise but basically carlos king has known for almost two months you guys that sheree and martel holt are a thing so i don't know if martel is denying it to keep it a surprise but it's like one of the worst kept secrets you guys literally him and sheree have been spotted all over the place so it's kind of hard to just keep denying keep denying saying that you're installing a pool, saying that you were working on her She by Cherie line and her joggers. Meanwhile, you're spotted at the beach. You're spotted out to dinner with different couples. You're spotted at different, you know, events that have nothing to do with Chateau Cherie, her pool, or She by Cherie joggers. So it's like, I don't understand why Martel thought he could pull a fast one. The only reason I can think of as to why he would deny this so vehemently is because he doesn't want to piss off his side chick and doesn't want to piss off his baby mama who is in her own level of shenanigans trying to find her next married sponsor, you guys. Um, but with that being said, you know, Carlos King essentially said that Everybody is going to address these rumors on the upcoming season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. As you guys know, they break up the seasons in half on OWN Network. So it's technically the second half of season four that will premiere, of course, in September. And basically, Melody, the Scots, everybody has an opinion on these rumors. And Carlos King essentially says as well 
that he compares it to when um you know j-lo and ben affleck first started dating the first time and the friends were kind of you know coming in and being like are you bleeping jennifer lopez are you bleeping j-lo that was kind of how marceau was coming at martel and i'm not surprised i mean who was surprised that marceau is celebrating martel holt hooking up with another reality star you guys who is surprised because i'm not and you just know with how Carlos described this, that Marso wishes this was him. That Marso wishes that he can also hook up with a real housewife of Atlanta Peach, you guys. He is itching. So he's going to live vicariously through Martel as Martel is going through all of this, you guys. Um, but there is that. And then the only other thing was, you know, they were saying, well, if, you know, Marta Holt's side chick is Coleslaw, then what is Sheree? And then they were coming up with some different names. And then they settled in on Peach Cobbler, because as you know, Sheree is an Atlanta peach. So they're calling her the dessert, you guys. So so there is that. So we have gone from, you know, the side dish is out, the dessert is in, the coleslaw is out, the peach cobbler is in, is what the running mantra is going to be. Put it on a t-shirt, put it on some merchandise, you guys, because I have a feeling that this is going to be a thing. Um, and there is that. But like I said, I Sheree rarely lies about anything. Um, she does have certain delusions, like with the Chateau Sheree that took forever, as well as the clothing line. Um, her best, you know, brand is really her fitness, is really her fitness and her overall wellness and skincare and everything else. Some of these other things and ventures that she does, I just have no clue why she does it. Um, but with that being said, the fact that she just went through all of this mess with Tyrone, a convicted felon, when all the drama that's taken place, you know, with him, you know, not filming and refusing to film and all the drama with the halfway house stuff with Real Housewives of Atlanta this season. Why would she lie about being involved with Martell? That technically is a step up, <laughs> like as crazy as it sounds, Martell is a step up from Tyrone. But again, there is still all kinds of baggage and all kinds of other drama that is associated with this. So. Again, we'll have to see if this is real or if this is specifically for storyline purposes or if this is specifically for Martel to appear that he has finally moved on with Melody Cherie because there is no way that his baby mama is ever st stepping foot on Love and Marriage Huntsville. So conveniently, you know, this is, you know, a thing. But Carlos also confirmed that he was not the mutual friend that introduced him, you guys that he was not the mutual friend to introduce them for these two to become a couple, you guys. He wanted to make that very clear, um, but did say a mutual friend basically told him. So <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I can't. I cannot anymore, you guys. But there is that. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think of Carlos King saying that Melody Cherie is here to stay for Love and Marriage Huntsville? What do you guys think about Carlos King basically confirming the rumors that Martel Holt is dating Sheree and that he's known for the past couple of months and that it will be discussed on this upcoming second half of season four of Real House, of, not Real Housewives, of um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, as well as calling Sheree a peach cobbler, you guys. Um, and the cast all, you know, giving their reactions as well. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post some content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.